Please, before we start our discussion, let us have a prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for giving us the chance to see this day. Thank you for loving us despite our sins. Forgive us for all our sins, even the ones committed unknowingly. As I start this day, we pray for your guidance and your protection. Direct our path and teach us the right thing to do. Let our words and our actions be ones that bring honor to your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for an answered prayer. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, I'm Miss Camille and I am thrilled that you will be in my class this is school year. We are going to learn so many new and exciting things together. So welcome to our music arts, physical education, and health subjects. Say hi to our art subjects. So let us explore the arts and crafts of Luzon from highlands and lowlands. But before we enter our discussion, let me show you my objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to appreciate the artifacts and art objects in terms of their uses and their distinct use of art elements and principles. Value the design, form, and spirit of the highland or lowland artifact and object on one's creation. To promote a deep sense of national identity, appreciation, and preservation of our cultural heritage. For an additional knowledge, I have here a trivia. Did you know that Semerara's clay is now being used to build houses, offices, churches, and facilities on the island? Current production of construction materials made of clay provide a living to about 200 local families. Clay from the Panyan mine operations used to be considered as mine waste until it was recently discovered to be of good quality for pottery, terracotta art, and various construction materials. Great job! I have here some words that are related to our topic. Indigenous Indigenous is occurring naturally in a particular place. Prehistoric Prehistoric is the period before any written records were made. Comparisons Comparisons to look at two different objects, artworks, creation, and compare them according to selected criteria. The elements of art. The elements of art are the visual tools that the artist uses to create a composition. So here are the elements of art. Line. So a line is an element of art. It is a mark made upon a surface. In order to be a line, the mark's length must be longer than its width. There are many different types of lines, including horizontal, vertical, wavy, diagonal, and more. Next is shapes. Shapes are areas of enclosed space that are two-dimensional. Shapes are flat and can only have height and width. The two different categories of shapes are geometric, and organic. So what is geometric shapes? Geometric shapes are mathematical, like circles and squares. So the organic shapes come from nature, like clouds and leaves. Space deals with the illusion of depth on a flat surface. Value refers to the lightness and darkness of areas in an artwork. Form is a three-dimensional version of a shape, 
an artwork that has the art element of form can be viewed from different angles and is not flat. Forms have height and width, but they also have depth. Color. Color is present when light strikes an object and it is reflected back into the eye. A reaction to a who arising in the optic nerve. Texture. It is used to describe the surface quality of the work. Referencing the types of lines the artist created. The surface quality can either be tactile or real, or is strictly visual or implied. The principles of art. It represents how the artist uses the elements of art to create an effective and to help convey the artist's intent. Balance. It refers to the visual weight of the elements of the composition. It is a sense that the painting feels stable and feels right. Contrast. It is the difference between elements of art and a composition, such that each element is made stronger in relation to the other. Emphasis. It is when the artist creates an area of the composition that is visually dominant and commands the viewer's attention. This is often achieved by contrast. Movement is the result of using the elements of art such that they move the viewer's eye around and within the image. Pattern. It is the uniform repetition of any of the elements of art or any combination thereof. Rhythm. It is created by movement implied through the repetition of elements of art of the Ilocos region in the Cordillera Administrative Region, or CAR. Ilocos region is known in their architecture. They have Kyle Corsologo. These old Spanish-type houses have huge, high-pitched rooms, large and rectangular living rooms that are made of adobe, bricks, lime, terracotta, hardwood doors, and windows of copy shells framed in wooden window panels. Text time. They have enable. It is a hand weaving technique of the Ilocanos that is produced using traditional wooden loops. In pottery, they have burnai. It is an unglassed earthen jar with a small opening. It is used for storage for water and rice grains and as a container for salt, brown sugar, basi, and bagoon. Pangasinan is known in their weaving. The arts and crafts of Pangasinan include the smoothly woven dinaumas made from puri or raffia leaves and the, and the bamboo crafts of San Carlos. What are the arts and crafts of Kalinga women wear the wraparound skirt or tapis. Saya, an ordinary woman's skirt covering the body from waist to feet. Basketry, lava, is a ball shaped basket made from rattan with sizes that vary from 20 to 150 centimeter in diameter. Tattooing, one odd is the last mamba batok of traditional Kalinga tattoo artist. Ifuga, natives of the Cordillera. They are also known in sculpture. One of the examples is Bulol. It is a wooden sculpture that represents the rice granite that are performed to call the ancestors to protect the rice fields from pestilence and to ask for an abundant harvest. The second one is Likli or Dinuma, the amulet of the Ancagaos. These are made from jade, gold, copper, bronze, stone, and other materials. The Mountain Province. Textile. 
Katingyan is a burial plot woven by female elders. Wait. The men's traditional attire. Lufit. The women use a short and narrow wrap around skirt. Ika. The process of buying and dyeing the threads to prepare the patterns before they are woven into textile. The arts and crafts of Cagayan Valley and Central Luzon. Batanes. Textile. Bakul. It is a headgear used by the Ibatan women to protect them from the heat of the sun and the rain. Isabella. Isabella is one of the largest provinces in the Philippines located in Cagayan Valley region. Sumawini Church is a Roman Catholic parish in Matias Apostol. Nueva Vizcaya. Nueva Vizcaya have Bakwan, a belt used by the mothers after giving birth. Bulacan. So the arts and crafts of Bulacan is Sinkaba. It is the local term for bamboo archer design with kayas or wood shaving. Mekawai and Bulacan is known for its jewelry industry. Pampanga. Pampanga is known for its giant pattern or barrel. So let us have the arts and crafts of Calabarzon and Bacal region. So let's explore the arts and crafts in Laguna. Laguna have carving. Paete, wood carving capital of the Philippines. The local term for carving is Bukit. The Rizal province. Angona in Rizal province is considered as the art capital of the Philippines. Because of the towns, which are artistic expressions that include music, painting, sculptures, and folk arts. Gigantes are big paper machine figures of humans that represent farmers and fishermen. Hello to the Albatangas. So the arts and crafts of the Albatangas is Calado. Calado, the burda in painstakingly made by three groups of people, the designer, the embroiderer, and the cutter. Balisong. It is also known as a butterfly knife. So class, that's the arts and crafts from the highlands and lowlands of Luzon. So let us have our first activity. The stretching activity entitled IR2. Direction. Classify the picture if it is an example of color, lines, textures, repetition, and balance. Write each word under the picture. So our next activity is in a long band paper and with a given format and measurements below, draw something that relates to the arts and crafts of the zone. Write your name, section, title, rating, and date. So for the show you know activity, this is called the paper mache balloon. Make a paper mache using a balloon as a mold. This balloon-shaped paper mache can be decorated into a mini hot air balloon, animals, Easter eggs, and other paper mache projects like bases or pads. Here are the supplies or the materials needed. Balloon. Newspaper or paper for recycling. White glue or paper mache base. Large bowl or small bucket. A small bowl. A small tray or any shallow container. A spoon. Paintbrush. Is it optional? Here are the steps on how to make a paper 
for watching and listening. See you on our next meeting. Goodbye!